isn't Section 31 supposed to be like a big secret? I mean, why would we wear special com badges that advertise who we are? You could still be dead. The strikes are finally over and our favorite creators are back in action. But hold on to your communicators because there's an exciting report indicating that the Star Trek Section 31 movie is in pre-production too. Our official designation is Section 31. Never heard of it. We keep a low profile. And guess who's back in the spotlight? Academy Award winner Michelle Yeoh is reprising her role as the formidable Philippa Giorgio. But that's not all folks, we have got some exclusive details that will send warp speed chills down your spine. So stick around because we have got some juicy tidbits that we will reveal later on in the video. Now you don't want to miss this so watch until the end to find out everything that we know about Star Trek Section 31. What is Star Trek Section 31? Well, it all started when Deep Space Nine producer Ira Stephen Bear got inspired by Benjamin Sisko's line about it being easy to be a saint in paradise. Bear wondered, is 24th century Earth really a utopia or is someone working in the shadows to keep it that way? Turns out there was a little known Starfleet charter called Article 14 Section 31 that allowed officers to take extreme measures during major threats. I'm talking sabotage, assassination, real cloak and dagger stuff. So this became the basis for the top secret group known as Section 31, doing the Federation's dirty work so folks on Earth could live in total peace and tranquility. Now of course, their methods were highly unorthodox. Michelle Yeoh's Section 31 Star Trek movie back on track for production. After months of uncertainty, it looks like Starfleet's most covert officer is finally getting her chance to slip back into the shadows. That's right, pop culture phenom Michelle Yeoh is suiting back up as the mysterious Philippa Giorgio to headline the latest Star Trek adventure, Section 31. Production on the highly anticipated spin-off was set to start filming late last year, but thanks to some cosmic turbulence, namely industry strikes, Yo's return to space had to stay in space dock. Now with labor unrest resolved, Section 31 appears to be clearing the space docks and charting a course to production. According to a recent update from the Directors Guild of Canada, the clandestine Trek film is on their rumor list for prep work beginning in November. This suggests that Brave Crew is getting ready to start pre-production. Now, of course, rumor lists are not set in stone, as Section 31 appeared earlier with a different start date that got delayed. But still, this is the most promising sign that Giorgio's next adventure is back on the launch pad. Fans were worried that the double strikes would jeopardize the mission, but at New York Comic Con last October, executive producer Alex Kurtzman reassured that thanks to Yo, it is full speed ahead. As he put it, even after her unbelievable award-worthy year, Yo's still committed to boldly going once more unto the final frontier. According to Kurtzman, So we are back on our feet after the strike with Section 31. It is happening. Michelle Yo is just the most extraordinary person on every level. She had one of the most unbelievable years that anybody could ever have in the history of ever, and she had a million opportunities to hit the jackpot on it and do other things. And what she did with all the power she had accrued is make sure that Section 31 was moving forward. The only possible hiccup is overlap with Strange New World Season 3, which is also filming in Toronto. Both shows leverage some of the same tech like the AR wall. But Strange New World's director Chris Fisher doesn't foresee issues accommodating two Trek productions. As he optimistically put it, there's no reason the entire Star Trek universe can't start warping again. So while details are still light, this is an extremely promising sign that Section 31 could finally materialize in 2023. One cosmic obstacle down, just a few more to go. But like her role model, James T. Kirk, Giorgio does not believe in the no-win scenario. And it seems neither does the indomitable Michelle Yeoh. After her triumphant year dominating the box office and stealing scenes in everything, everywhere, all at once, Yeoh's more determined than ever to show us the full force of her star power. 2024 could be the year that she makes history yet again by captaining the first woman-led Star Trek production. To say we are eagerly anticipating this solo venture is a massive understatement. Giorgio remains one of Trek's most complex and compelling characters. Now, the opportunity for Yo to fully unleash her imperial charisma in a starring vehicle has fans giddy with excitement. For decades, Michelle Yo has proven she can do anything on screen. Now it looks like she is on the verge of piloting Starfleet's shadiest ship right back to the stars where it belongs. After this long wait, the only question is, will her signature theme song from Discovery make a triumphant return as well? 
One can only hope. Star Trek is beaming into the future of streaming with an all-new Paramount Plus original movie focusing on the mysterious Section 31 organization. This top-secret project, shrouded in secrecy like Section 31 itself, began development years ago, but has shaped up to be the first bold step in an epic streaming journey through the final frontier. The project first surfaced in 2019 as a new Star Trek Discovery spin-off TV series. It was a series to be centered around Giorgio, played by the wonderful Michelle Yeoh. Giorgio, originally the noble captain of the USS Shenzhou, met an untimely end early in Discovery's first season. But the talented Yo soon reappeared as Giorgio's sinister Mir Universe counterpart, Terran Emperor Giorgio. Now, this character was a hit with fans, so much so that the planned Section 31 series was reworked into a feature film. Industry reports indicate that this will be the first in a series of original Star Trek movies on Paramount Plus, potentially arriving every two years. An exciting future for Trek indeed. Now, while details remain classified for now, we do know that the Section 31 script will build upon Giorgio's arc in Discovery, providing closure for the character. Her final Discovery appearance was in the Season 3 episode, Terra Firma Part 2, which set the stage for this new adventure. Giorgio is back, but who else? One thing we know for sure, with the brilliant Michelle Yeoh returning as the formidable Philippa Giorgio, this new chapter in the Star Trek saga is bound to be a thrilling ride. Giorgio's return is certainly cause for celebration as she has proven to be one of the most dynamic and compelling characters in Star Trek's recent history. Introduced as the ruthless Terran Emperor in Star Trek Discovery, she later joined the Prime Universe crew, bringing all of her cunning and guile but also flashes of surprising compassion. Now in command of Section 31, the ends justify the means covert ops group. Giorgio is sure to blur the lines between right and wrong in defense of the Federation. As Yo said, fans can expect Mission Impossible meets Guardians of the Galaxy. So strap in for a wild, action-packed exploration of the moral gray areas of the final frontier. Now, while Giorgio is confirmed as the lead, the question remains who else will join her on this clandestine adventure? Could Ash Tyler, last seen taking over the reins of Section 31, make an appearance? Shazad Latif, who portrayed Tyler, claims to have heard nothing about the project yet, but tighter lips have certainly kept Starfleet secrets. It is reasonable to speculate that Section 31 personnel like Leland, Tyler, and others introduced in Discovery may very well factor into events in some capacity. More broadly, when and where will this series be set? Presumably still in the 23rd century Prime Universe, but will we witness the early days of 31's formation or perhaps jump further ahead? Might we also get more insight into how the mysterious division operates across the reaches of Federation space? The possibilities are wide open. While plot details remain firmly under wraps, one thing is for certain, the show's creative team have a wealth of rich Star Trek lore and ingeniously complex characters like Giorgio to draw from. We can expect plenty of the ethical dilemmas and debates that Starfleet is known for as Giorgio confronts the sins of her past. How will Section 31's murky morality clash with the idealism of the Federation? When can we expect to embark on this latest Trek voyage? Unfortunately, Section 31 does not yet have a release date as even the mighty Section 31 could not control industry strikes and delays, but based on hints from Trek overseer Alex Kurtzman, it seems Paramount Plus remains highly committed to growing the Star Trek universe. Until Section 31 beams down, this year holds plenty for Trek fans between the Discovery Season 5 finale on Paramount Plus and Star Trek Prodigy Season 2 on Netflix. There's also more animated antics on the way with Lower Deck Season 5 and Strange New World Season 3 likely arriving in 2024. One fan said, Anyone think this would have been better as a series? There is a tremendous amount of unexplored depth to Section 31 and it will be difficult to cram that into a single movie. And more, Michelle Yeoh would not be a bad thing either. Another fan also said Section 31 did seem in line with Gene's vision for TNG. The Borg storyline in TNG was designed to show that the Federation was arrogant because they had a long span of peace which fooled them into thinking that they finally figured out how to make a utopia. Section 31 ensured Federation peace by any means. Well, as we wait for Star Trek Section 31 to be released, you will be interested to see Star Trek Starfleet Academy trailer. It's gonna be pretty good.